good morning, good morning. This is our bonus, bonus devotion this week because this week we're covering each of the themes of the mission trip. While the youth are away, going to share with you kind of how the theme develops throughout the course of the week. That's why we're starting on Sunday this week uh, because we are starting on Sunday today on the mission trip, June 2nd. Um, the overall theme for the mission trip is Party with Marty. And we're going to look at the key Bible passages for that this morning as we look at Romans chapter 5, verse 2. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into his grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Well, our theme for the week is Party with Marty. And when I was uh, doing some Bible background to develop and figure out what the Bible verse would be for that, because we were looking at Martin Luther, of course we want to stay, go with that. We are saved by grace through faith, but we also want to talk about a celebration. And this passage from Romans really kind of takes care of both of those because it talks about us being saved through a gift of God's grace, but it also talks about obtaining access by faith into his, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. We rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Now, that is a really cool verse to look at as, as we get into our theme this week. And, and today, as we explore really that idea of party with Marty, more specifically, we look at what party is that? That rejoicing in the hope of the glory of God. That means in whatever situation, whatever circumstances we find ourselves, we have a reason to rejoice. Because no matter what the world throws at us, and, and this verse goes on to elaborate that. For suffering produces um, endurance. Endurance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint. See, we're rejoicing in this hope that we have been given because we know that this hope go, goes over and above any difficulty that we might deal with. Now, while we are gone on the mission trip, and, and this is how I sell it to the adults who help chaperone, um, we're not getting enough sleep. We're, we're usually not getting enough sleep till a little bit after midnight, and we're up around six. Um, and the sleep we do get is air mattresses on floors. Um, we're using the locker rooms for showers. We're, we're basically camping out at a church for a week. And then during the day, we're working. The thing is, through the whole process, we are rejoicing in the hope of the glory of God. We are having a great time. In the mornings, we're going to be working with migrant children, uh, doing a vacation Bible school. Uh, they're refugees, and, and we're going to be working with them, and we're going to be sharing the gospel with them. In the afternoons, we're going to be working at a food bank, soup kitchen, uh, and, and we're going to be helping to get a, a Lutheran camp going in southern Indiana. We're going to be working pretty hard most of the days. But the thing is, we're going to be having a lot of joy while we're doing it. Because it's not about what we have to do. It's about the hope that we have in the glory of God. So as we go through this week, remember that that is our key passage, that we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And I hope that throughout this week, you may rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. No matter what else is going on, you have the hope of the glory of God, and there is nothing more joyful to focus on than that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to be with the youth as they drive to Louisville today. Uh, we would also ask you, Lord, to work your Holy Spirit into our lives so that we may live daily the hope that we have because of your gift of grace. In your son's holy name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.